Friends, I really miss those types of episodes, comparing the tech. So today we have the Diori XT M8000 versus uh, 8100, 12 speed, 11 speed. And just an hour ago, a new bike, the Kelly's Teos e-bike came with the XT Di2 redrail. So I'm gonna compare Di2 to this one as well and to this one also. But in this episode, what's the difference between the previous generation and the newest generation of the XT? Of course, uh, this new XT derailleur um, had to meet demands of 12 speed drivetrain, uh, even more than 12 speed, because Shimano decided to have cassette 1051 instead of 1050 as SRAM Eagle does. So it has to have a biggest, biggest, huge capacity. So, as you can see, the, the derailleur, the new one, just looks bigger because this one operates on the 11 speed cassette and this one would be, let's say, up to 1146 teeth. This one, 1051. So that's a lot of work for the derailleur. It looks larger, but on my scale, the older one weighs 270 grams, the newer one, 277, uh, which is a very good result because of being larger, having larger pulleys and so, still only 7 grams more means that uh, the design of the new derailleur is more lightweight than the older one. Is there a difference in the way how the stabilizer, stabilizer or the clutch uh, works? Well, let's just look inside and see whether there is any differences. Here is the clutch or the chain stabilizer. This is the M8100 uh, and this is, no, this is the M8000, I'm sorry. And on the right side is new uh, 8100. As you can see, this is the same exact clutch. And to be honest, I wouldn't be changing anything because it works well. It is easy to maintain and service. As you can see, after 3000 of kilometers in different, really different, sometimes, sometimes extreme conditions, no dirt here. And also it's adjustable. So this is where Shimano uh, clutches shine in my opinion. So same clutch, same stabilizer. Uh, we can tell by the, by my older XT, which has made about 3000 kilometers on very extreme uh, terrain, mud and water on my e-bike, that the, the cap for the adjustment uh, bolt there and also the sealing, the seal of, uh, of this um, cover is well made. No problem, nothing, no dirt gets inside, this is just well made. The switch is pretty much the same, this is now in the on position, now it's in the off position and there is a huge difference in how you can move the cage when it's on and off. You can hear this sound because uh, the clutch needs some grease and uh, the bushing here needs some grease. It, wasn't been, it hasn't been maintained so far or serviced. Same here, this is now in the on position. Now the switch in, in the off position, now it works very smoothly and lightly. Now you can feel a lot of friction here, but still it's, it's kind of in a smooth way, working in a smooth way. So the clutch on Shimano uh, derailleurs, I, I say yes, very good one. The pulleys, this is the tension pulley. This is the guide pulley, 30, 13 teeth, 13 teeth. On the older one, we have 11, 11. And also those teeth are very small on the older one. Of course, uh, this one has been used a lot, uh, but still when you compare those teeth, there is a huge difference. Why does it matter? Well, let's just see, let's just look at those teeth here. You can see those edges here are very sharp. There is no sharp edges on the new one, and believe me or not, uh, the pulleys make a huge difference not only in the shifting, but in, uh, in how we, uh, your drivetrain is loud, how loud your drivetrain is. So this thing is uh, well made. I really, I really feel, see, there is like different shaping on those teeth 
so that it, it, the whole drivetrain will be improved. And I wonder how was it possible for Shimano to keep these old school pulleys for so long? This is, this is very surprising. As for the bearings, uh, both pulleys have bearings on the older one and both pulleys have bearings on the new one. Uh, what has not changed, um, the use of materials on the XT derailleurs hasn't been changed. So uh, basically we can say that the derailleur is made of aluminum with uh, the bushings and the bolts made of stainless steel and there is one part made of so-called GFRP, glass fiber reinforced polymer, and I think it is this part here, this one. Um, Shimano say on their manual th that uh, it's the body plate that's made of G GFRP, and I think this is it, because the plates, the outer plate and the inner plate are made of aluminum. This is this is not a polymer. Same on the, the new one. This is in my opinion aluminum and this would be the glass fiber reinforced polymer. If I'm wrong, correct me please. But that's what I what I what I think, how it looks like and how it sounds also. Another thing that hasn't been changed and I would like Shimano to change it is the cable routing. Uh, because this is the cable stop, uh, the housing goes here and stops here and then the cable must make a turn to the fixing bolt and it's made in the same manner on the new one so that's this is the angle uh, on which the housing comes and then the cable goes like this so this edge here, that's the edge which is wearing out the coating of the cables on uh, Shimano derailleurs. I mean, it works perfectly, flawlessly, but it does wear the cables. So this is one of the most important places you should be looking at your cables uh, in uh, deciding whether you should replace it or not. That's right here. On SRAM there is another pulley here and the pulley does the job very well. Okay, now the differences, back to the differences. This is the additional arm uh, for mounting the derailleur on the derailleur hanger and this is like, I would say, SRAM-like <laughs> type of, uh, of mounting with this uh, little locking thing. This is how it will uh, be locked. Um, on the old one, our limiting screws, the low gears and the high gears, are far away from each other and this is the screw for the angle of our derailleur or the distance between the guide pulley and the cassette. And here the high and, high and low limiting screws are back together as all the older, uh, on the older uh, derailleurs. And this is the, uh, the angle of our derailleur or the distance. Um, bolt, adjustment bolt. And uh, now here also um, on the inside of the outer plate you can see special line for adjusting uh, the, uh, the distance between the, the guide pulley and the cassette. Uh, so you don't use uh, the adjustment tool as SRAM has on their Eagle derailleurs, you use this, uh, this line here. So this is it and since the new one has larger pulleys, this is the guide pulley. So this is basically the pulley that will switch between the gears. So it will, it will move uh, chain, the chain through the cassette because this is the tension uh, pulley. Uh, because this one is bigger, larger one than the, the old one, it will grasp, like it will move or push and pull a little bit longer um, fraction of the chain which means that the shifting is better it, it feels more stable it does make a difference easy thing larger pulleys they do make a difference okay so the clutch uh, wasn't changed it's still very good we've got a huge capacity for the 1051 uh, cassettes 
basically we've got the aluminum um, derailleur with steel bolts and, and uh, bushings and I think these are the main differences of course these are both in the shadow plus plus means that we have the clutch and shadow means that they are pretty thin and so maybe the new one is thinner or I don't know very similar so that when you crash you don't uh, you don't uh, damage your rear derailleur so easily. I do like the look, I think everyone does the look of the new XT, XTR and SLX 12 speed rear derailleurs, they look more aggressive. Uh, these also got additional bumper, this is made of, um, of, of rubber, so when, the, when it hits the frame uh, it doesn't damage itself or the frame. There you go, Diori XT8 1100 and 8000. Uh, if you need to find the info for your derailleurs, this is where you find it. Let me show you exactly on the inside of, uh, of the bracket here. There you go. RD rear derailleur M8000. And then this one has it like that RD8000. M8100. And if you know about that glass fiber reinforced polymer part, was I, was I right here? Just let us know in the comments. Thanks, bye bye.